Welcome back, everybody. It's time to a video for you, and um, I'm back with new recording equipment, uh, much better than what I had before. Hopefully, the quality of videos will be better. Um, the reason I'm doing this video today is I picked up a EverDrive N8, and this is a um, flash cart for the Nintendo Entertainment System. It uses SD cards. You can put like almost every NES game on it, not every single one, and play them on it. Um, I got the option that didn't come with the case, and I just took a cheapo bases loaded cartridge and decased it and put the end, the EverDrive in this. I had to modify the case a little bit to make it work, but looks pretty good in here, right there. Okay, so the reason I'm showing you this is like a lot of people have these and know about this, and <clears throat> other people know about this as well. This is a Play Choice adapter, so you can put NES games inside of a um, uh, Play <laughs> Put NES games in a play choice. Anyway, so you know, it goes in like this, and then this goes inside the play choice into one of the slots for the play choice games. Allows you to play NES games on the play choice. Um, I just want to show you my experience using this ever this uh, EverDrive on it. Um, this adapter was built for use with the Power Pack. I didn't get the Power Pack. I wanted to get the EverDrive because it's newer. Um, probably made the mistake in that aspect for what I'm planning on doing with it. Works great in NES, but let's get to uh, actually using this. Okay, let's go along here. Okay, come around to the back. Okay. All right, so down there is the Play Choice board set. <clears throat> and I've got it hanging out here. And <clears throat> I can show you. There's all the Play Choice games in there. The adapter is the last one in. So I'm going to insert the NES, I mean the EverDrive, into the NES slot on this. Make sure it's in there nice and good. Okay. Gently slide it in. And we're going to turn the play choice on. I'm going to come around here and check it out. All right. Okay, so let's try our zoom out here. Okay, so the, ignore my screaming child. <laughs> my wife's upstairs, so you know that. The first option is the NES cartridge slide. I named it Kid Icarus because I had Kid Icarus in it, but let's actually go into it here. Okay, so the EverDrive's loaded up. Go to my NES games folder and um, actually, you know, let's try this Castlevania 3. This is the Japanese version of it. And let's see what it sounds like. If we get the enhanced sound on this version, if it even runs. I find that. Oh, yeah, it sounds different. Wow. Can you guys hear it at all? Where's the volume? Oh, it's on the monitor. Now I see why people like this version of the game. Okay, let's give it a start. Holy macker, what a difference. Wow. So this is the way the game is meant to be heard.
forgot you can't jump on the stairs like you can on the Super Nintendo version. I keep forgetting where those are. The sink. Oh, there it goes. Froze up. So this is the issue that I'm having with the uh, EverDrive on the PlayStation. Is you see the game looks like it's timer still counting. Something's happened. Uh, everything else works fine. The actual NES, um, the Play Choice games. Let's go back. Oh, let's just go into the one thing I did notice too is I don't know how many. Uh, files you could put in a folder. Um, so I'm just, I got this really old folder, NES games. It's just a little bit easier to find them. But it does cut it off at a certain amount. So let's look at Castlevania 3. The USA version of it. You can hear the difference already. Huh, this must be the PAL version of the game. And that version doesn't work at all. Yeah. Let's just look at some else anyways. Hong Kong Jr. It seems to be just pretty much every game will freeze up at some point in time on this. I don't know if it's better if they freeze up sooner or later. Probably better if they do it sooner. At least you're not spending a lot of time playing it. There you go. Froze up. So really this is not a good option for the uh, PlayStation 10. <clears throat> so I'll probably just use this in the NES and pick up a power pack at some point in time. Because the whole point of getting this is I didn't have to pull my... You see my PlayStation is pulled out of the wall every time I want to change a game. So... This game's awesome. This game has got to be one of the most underrated games on the NES, or unknown of. I mean, a lot of people do know of it, but it's just an awesome game. It's a spin-off of Ghouls and Ghosts, or Ghosts and Goblins. Where is that Warriors Training Center? I can't remember where the Warriors Training Center is. Maybe it's this house. Maybe it's how the buildings. Nope.
And you know, your character seems slow right now, but he gets better as you uh, power him up. He may recognize this guy as the, um, the really annoying gargoyle and uh, ghosts, and go ghosts and goblins that would always kill you. Okay, so we got the pot. He's dead. Oh, look, they're all dead. Interesting. This game seems to be run pretty good. Ugh. Thought I could make it through them. I'm still recording. Okay, good. Oh, I shouldn't have gone down there. I thought I'd go down there and see what's down there. All right, well, you see this game. It's, it's all really good. Um, I mean, I just wish that it worked a little bit better. Let's try, you know, let's give it a couple more games. This game, love this game on the Genesis. The NES version is not so good. <laughs> really not so good. Gotta stop doing that. Oh, let's try let's try Kirby's adventure again. You can get it playing. Man, yeah, that's all see. Again, I do it again. Life force. Got all those weird hacks for those Mario Brothers games. Ugh. <laughs> Really should have gone for the option, but whatever. Oh, and there it goes. How about I just play some Contra? See how far I get with three lives.
Oh. I think there was probably the worst. <laughs> this is stupid. I'm not gonna go much further with this. Free man. One up. Really trying to press down there. Last life. Is the power up guy coming out here anytime soon? No, I don't think he's coming out. Oh, I was... Pro oh, game over. Okay, that's it for this. Um... So my recommendation would be if you have a power, if you have a PlayStation and you have the adapter, don't get the power, don't get the N8 for it, get the power pack. I, I know people have better luck with it. It was literally designed to work with it. So, so don't, don't go for it. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, so let's just uh, go over the basement here. I'm gonna just go around here to my computer area here just to show you a few things I got. So I've got, um, down so I've got uh, I usually use Linux but the video editing software using Linux is now completely corrupt and doesn't work um, for pretty much every distro so I've got Sony Vegas 13 now on um, Linux, um, Linux Windows 10 so um, this is where I'll be doing my video editing um, I wanted to give this a try. It's cheaper than buying uh, Premiere. Um, supposedly it processes video faster and I've already done a little test and it is, it's wicked fast. Um, some other things I got, uh, I got this cool um, stabilizer here for the camera. You see right here? So I can put the camera in it and I get a, I mean, obviously you're crazy. It's gonna look crazy anyways, but it's supposed to give you a nice stable shot. It's counterweighted below. So I'll use this in some of the videos. Um, the only thing is you can't really pan down. You have to grab it like this and then you're no longer stable so uh stabilized i would say so i think that's it i'm gonna oh and i'm gonna put all this stuff together and upload it and you guys will already see it by then um and for my microphone i was gonna use a wireless mic i got a wireless transmitter but i end up going with this this is a um digital audio recorder and um and a nice sony microphone 
I'm just gonna mix the sound together for that. So let's see how this goes and uh, hopefully you guys will like the results. <laughs> 